Hey. Hey. Top five. Um, my top five for top five. sure. It's, 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 it's one of my, I love the groove of Hey. I love top the five. feeling of Hey. I love everything about Hey. It's such a good, magical feeling on that song. Like, I feel like we just tapped into a real deep groove together on that. Yeah, Rick, Rick came, Rick. He loved him. Everybody goes, well, yeah, I hope Rick that's was you. was really excited. It was another one of these ones where it just, it really had a different feeling to it than any of the other songs had. Rick was like, I like that. It's light and jazzy. <laughs> So that was, we called it that, light and jazzy. That was the working title, he, light he and would, jazzy. Yeah, and he would show up to rehearsal, and we'd get there and jam and stuff, and then he would show up. And I remember him coming in going, I was walking in, because there's <clears throat> there's two rehearsal places. There's one big room where we're in, and there's another room, which is next door. And he was walking out in, and you could hear the music faintly, and he, he was digging it and going, I hope that's coming out of the chili pepper room. <laughs> he really right. didn't know if it was us or not. He said, usually he knows what's us right. and we're what's another band. He was right. like, I hope that's them. And I really like that. It's light and jazzy. It's one of those songs that takes you away, and it takes you to an emotional place that is just powerful and beautiful and real yeah. and not sugar-coated. Yeah. You know, it's not like, you know, it's not one of those things that gives you any kind of false hope. It just kind of right. feels real and beautiful and powerful. Yeah. When I came up with the bass lines for Hey, mm -hmm. I was so excited. I couldn't, I was so, I was like, oh my God, I just came up with the best bass line I've ever come up with in my entire <laughs> life. I can't wait to get to rehearsal and play it for those guys. And I was so excited driving. I was like, oh God, I gotta play this thing with these guys. I was so excited. Like I came in, like trying to become, I get this thing, I uh, like it. Yeah, it's just a little yeah, thing I gave little thing I, But I was really excited. Hey guys, you wanna hear this thing? It's not yeah, much for yeah, them. It's like, you guys might like it. Um, I was so excited about it. And I'm just so happy that you guys loved it because I was really, I, I always have this fear, God, they might not like it, you know? Right. And I was so happy that you guys liked it. And, and, it, and, it's, and I was playing it, just me and Shadder playing mm -hmm. it. And John was like kind of getting his guitar out and. Mm. Not really, he was kind of like nodding his head a little bit, but he wasn't really like going, wow, or anything. He wasn't saying anything. And then he just picked up his guitar, strapped on, and just started, I think, at the White Falcon. Hit some chords. Put it in the White Falcon and just started wailing the some perfect chords. part for it. One of my favorite things in that song is the interaction between the drums and the lead guitar, because it had so much space in it. That bass part has so much space. So when, when you know, Chad came in with the groove that he came in with, it wasn't, it wasn't what Flea was expecting. I have discovered that much to my amazement, um, it is not a song for everyone. I, I think you have to be somewhat of a seasoned veterano of experience to, to get on the train of hay. You tell me youngsters don't like hay? I'm, I'm not saying, I'm saying that I've heard a, a couple of youngsters that didn't dislike hay, uh -huh. but they didn't really get it. Wow. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think you have to have been around the block a certain amount of times. Wow. I could be wrong.